Contenders. I'm your host, Peg Eun Young. This is the long-awaited Chuseok weekend, and maybe you're watching us from your car on your way to your hometown, or maybe you're cooking at home for your family and friends. This is a wonderful time to share our good tidings and goodwill. Let's welcome today's contenders onto our stage. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. We have the Sears CN team, Matt Dembowski and Amy Atkinson. Sears is in Chicago and CN Tower is? Toronto. Toronto. Mm, and you've been up both towers? I haven't been up the Sears Tower. I've been up both of them. Mm -hmm. And you're locals of Chicago and Toronto? Yes. Yeah. I see. Well, it's great to have you here for Chuseok and good luck to you today. Thank you. Going against the Sears CN team, we have the Tooks, uh, Peter Lee and Jake Yu. And Took is a kind of Canadian hat. It is, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter actually likes winter hats. And as, as you said, I'm from Canada. And um, basically, it's a term for a winter hat. Anything in terms of like a pom-pom or anything of that nature. Oh, like a knit winter hat? A knit winter hat, exactly. OK, all right. Well, welcome, Tooks and Sears CN. Good luck to you, and let's begin our game. start off with our multiple choice questions. C or CN, you get to choose first. Q, U, I, or Z? I. We will go with question set I, number one. Of the following, what is the special food that we eat on the Korean holiday? Chuseok. One, tteokguk. Two, songpyeon. Three, kimchi. Four, mandu. Songpyeon, number two. Yes. And do you like songpyeon? Yeah, it's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. It's a rice cake with sesame or perhaps some beans inside. It's uh. a little sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and chewy. We go to question two. Of the following, which sport does not use any equipment? One, baseball. Two, fencing. Three, soccer. Four, wrestling. Okay, mm -hmm. do you want to use chance or? Yeah, sure. we'll use chance. All right, we'll take away the incorrect choices. And now, please make your final selection. Wrestling? Yes. Um, what was the other choice that you were thinking he of? He thought it was soccer. I said, but they have a ball. Yeah. Yeah, I was. And the goals. And well, I was thinking of the head things you wear in wrestling. Oh, oh, the guards for yeah. your. Are you a wrestler? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I suppose you do wrestle, but you don't yes, call yourself a wrestler. Just normally when I'm goofing around, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, going to question three. Of the following, which portion of an egg is mixed in mayonnaise? One, yolk, two, albumin, three, shell, and four, membrane. Yolk. It's yolk and oil. Go to question four. Of the following, which movie includes the song Moon River? One, Singing in the Rain. Two, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Three, Roman Holiday. Four, Mary Poppins. Uh, two, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. And we go to question five. Of the following, what was most commonly used in pencils before graphite became popular? One, lead. Two, chalk. Three, charcoal. Four, clay. Uh, one, lead. Actually, it is chalk that was used most commonly. You end the section with 40 points, but we have a lot of the quiz ahead. And Tooks, which set would you like to have? We'll take you. All right, question set U, number one. Of the following, which fruit has a different color for the most part? One, strawberry. Two, tomato. Three, banana. Four, cherry. Three, banana. Yes, bananas tend to be yellow versus the red of the other fruits. We go to question two. Of the following, 
What is the international competition held in the same year and in the same city as the Summer Olympics? 1. U.S. Open 2. Asian Games 3. Paralympics 4. World Cup 3. Paralympics Yes. It is for the physical challenge. And we go to question 3. Of the following, what does GPS, used as a guiding system in cars, stand for? 1. Global Positioning System 2. General Positioning System 3. General Postal System 4. Global Point System 1. Global Positioning System We go to question 4. Of the following, what is the shape of the moon that we can observe on Chuseok? 1. Crescent 2. Half moon 3. Full moon 4. Old moon Take chance. And taking chance will take away two of the incorrect choices. And your final answer, please. One crescent. It is the full moon that we observe on Chuseok. Ah, uh, yes. You end the section with 30 points. And CRCN, you are in the lead. And now we get to see how well you work together as a group or a team. We give you 20 words in a pre-chosen category. You are given 100 seconds to go through it. You are not to use any of the words or phrases that we give you on the board. So, CRCN, it is your turn first. And your pre-chosen category is Tom Hanks. Is he a favorite actor of yours? Well, I like big. He gave me some decorating ideas for my apartment. Hmm. Which did you take? Um, I want to get a trampoline for my... <laughs> oh, nice idea. <laughs> it's nice fun. All right. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Go. Not small. Big. Uh, state, 50th state of uh, Sa Sacramento's capital. California. Um... Up his 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Uh, Apollo 13? No. Um, grade up in the blue. Blue. Blue path. moon? Uh, three movies with her. Meg Ryan. Uh, first movie. Splash. Uh, television show. Booze and Buddies. Uh, Life is like a box of chocolates. Forrest Gump. Yeah. Uh, character in Toy Story. Woody. Uh, director of The Terminal. Director. Steven Spielberg? Yes. Uh, not the Oscars. Um, regular, everyday Joe's ch shoes. Golden Globe? Mm -hmm. uh, the company he works for in Castaway, not UPS. There's the... Letter? Letter. Mm, F. FedEx. Pass. A uh, movie that he directed? That Thing That You Do? The Thing That You Do? Um, Stephen King wrote it. It's a kilometer. A uh, color. Oh, the golden... The green mile. The award that we were going for was People's Choice Award, oh. and he played John Miller in Saving Private Ryan, and he attended Skyline High School. <laughs> you had a section with 130 points on the board. Good job. <laughs> and Toops, it's your turn. <laughs> Greek mythology is your chosen category. Are yes. you ready? I am. Go. Is that it's the prime god? Uh, Zeus. Zeus's wife. H. Pass. It means love. E. Aphrodite. Four letter word. What? Four letter word. Aphro. Pass. 
Uh, it means disruption, C, or uh -huh. unorganized, anarchy. Upsider? Pass. A, it's uh, goddess of love. Uh, Aphrodite. Uh, N, it's actually a shoe. Type brand of shoe. Sports equipment, sports team, all around the world. <laughs> Wings, pass. Uh, H, character on The Simpsons. The father. Oh, man. P, it's the god of, um, of uh, the oceans. It's Poseidon. H, the messenger god. Her uh, Hermes. T, clash of the... It's Pass. before the Olympians. Pass. Um, Brad Pitt was in this movie. It's... T. Troya. All right, it's actually... Oh. Was Zeus's wife, Eros, love, and chaos for anarchy. You had a tough time with this category, uh, 80 points. CRCN, you are in the lead with 130 on the board. <laughs> now let's welcome Mr. David Huang onto our stage. Hey. Oh, what a lovely striped affair you're wearing yes, today. Yes, it's uh, the fall and, you know, I'm putting on the jackets these days. And mm -hmm. CRCN and toques, right? Uh, what we call a beanie, right? <laughs> Is that what us U.S. people call beanies? Well, you could, you could call it that. Yeah. It's a Canadian term for a wool hat. I see. Hat. Okay. Yeah. Well, both teams, welcome to our contender stage. I hope you guys are having a good time and I hope it continues because we're going to continue with my section. And uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and give you the rules to this section. Uh, this section is a round of non-multiple choice questions. The first team to buzz in will get the first chance to answer. Now, if that team gets that question wrong, that chance will be given to the other team. Uh, if neither of you guys can figure it out, we're going to help you out with the help of a spelling hint. There's 15 questions in all, 30 points per question, 5 seconds to answer each one. You and please pause. Uh, and only answer after I've called out your team name. Yes. Let's have question number one. Very important. Question number one is about study. According to our research, this fruit diet that pops up every few years actually works. A new study found that eating half of this fruit before... Zero CN. Grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> we would have also taken pomelo as an answer. And let's move on to question two. Order me a box these days. Okay, anyway, question number two is about substance. <gasps> Recently, a woman in Minnesota, U.S. received the delivery of a half-carat diamond that was manufactured from the cremated remains of her husband. The manufacturing company said that when ashes are heated to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it leaves only pure this. Carbon? Yeah. And when it's put under pressure, it becomes a diamond. And it's good to see you on the board, Tooks. 110 versus CRCN's 160. Very close game. Let's move on to question, the next question, which is number three. Question number three, it's about cities. On August 30th, this city launched a wireless computer network enabling its people to surf the web anywhere in the city. Liberating the people from their home computers and internet cafes, the city became the first European capital where laptops can hook up anywhere to the web. What is this capital and largest city of the Netherlands? Tooks. Amsterdam. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's getting closer, Tooks. 140, CRCN, 160. Let's have the next question. I guess your European heritage helped you out there. Our, our friend is from, actually, Germany. Mm -hmm. He grew up there. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, question number four. It's about person. Last month, this person was honored in London's Rock and Roll Walk of Fame. His, he left his handprints on the pavement at Piccadilly Circus. He was chosen to inaugurate Britain's first Rock and Roll Walk of Fame. This guitarist with Led Zeppelin was one of the wildest men in rock. Who is this musician? Led Zeppelin's guitarist. Let's take a look at the hint. You'll know. Tooks. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page. 
Yes. And Toots, you're now in the lead, 170 versus uh, Sir Cien's 160. It's a very close game. So let's go to question five. All right, question number five. It's about dishes. Last month, an alliance of Thai traders of this food lost a $2.6 million lawsuit they filed against the wildlife group. The group claimed that this Asian delicacy is putting both the animal and consumers at risk. Toots. Duran. Sir Cien. It's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. This is considered a delicacy in many Asian diets, especially among the Chinese, among whom this soup is one of their most popular dishes. What is this? Sir Cien, five seconds. Uh, shark fin soup? Sir oh. Cien. Shark fin soup? Yes, it is shark fin. Shark fin. And Sir Cien, you are now in the lead, 190 versus Tuke's 170. Very close game. Another reminder, please share your answers only after you've buzzed in and I've called out your team name. Let's go with the next question. All right, question number six is about nature. A leading marine expert has warned that the increasing acidity of the world's oceans could banish all this by 2065. The expert told that human-produced carbon dioxide was radically changing the marine environment. It is any of a variety of invertebrate marine organisms of the class and... Sir Cien. Uh, coral. Yes. Of antidoa that are characterized by exoskeletons. And Sir Cien, 220 versus Tuke's 170. Let's go with question seven. All right, question number seven. It's about health. Dietary supplements of fish oil may be helpful to people with this. According to the results of a new study, copper supplements are found to have no effect on this disease. This is a debilitating autoimmune disease which attacks the whole body. Sir Cien. Parkinson's? Tukes, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. It causes skin sores, pains throughout the body, lack of breath, and kidney and heart problems. What is this? Tukes, five seconds. Tukes. AIDS, HIV. We're looking for an autoimmune disease. Let's take a look at the hint. Skin sores, pains throughout the body, lack of breath or shortness of breath, kidney and heart problems. Sir Cien. Lupus? Yes. <laughs> and let's move on to question eight. By the way, that is a, it's kind of a scary thing because the cause of lupus is unknown, nor is there a cure. And actually, of, out of 10 people, 9 out of 10 of them are women that get lupus. So anyway, FYI. Here we go, moving on to question number 8. It's about titles. One day, a funny thing happened among a tourist group on the way to see the Mona Lisa in France. Visitors to the Louvre Museum in Paris started quizzing their toy gu tour guides about this novel. The plot of this novel kicks off with the murder of the curator. It talks about religion, history, and the works of Italian Renaissance painter Leonardo da Vinci. What is... Sir Cien. The Da Vinci Code? Yeah. <laughs> Did you read the book? Yes. It's very fun. Yeah, very cool book. Let's move on to question nine. Question number nine, it's about countries. This country is considering plans to upgrade its power facilities after a massive blackout brought the country to a standstill. It sweltered in temperatures of 39 degrees centigrade or 102 degrees Fahrenheit during the blackout. It is a small Arab state in the Persian Gulf. Saudi Arabia lies to the west across the gulf of the country, while Qatar Peninsula lies to the east. What is this country? Sir Cien. Uh, United Arab Emirates. Tukes, five seconds. Tukes. Dubai. Let's take a look at the hint. And we're looking for Tukes. Bahrain. Yes. And we go to question 10. All right, moving on to question number 10, and still a very close game. It's about words. Actor Mel Gibson despises this so much that he dreamt of making a movie about killing them. Dear Cian. A uh, paparazzi? Yes. He had his former hairdresser you know, make the film, and it opened on September 3rd. Now, let's move on to question number 11. Question number 11 is about organs. 
Loud music can do more than damage your hearing. It can also cause this organ to collapse. It is thought that the intense pulses of low frequency, high energy sound causes this organ to rupture because air and tissue respond differently to sound. It is an organ. Sir Cien. Eardrum. Tooks, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. It is an organ belonging to the respiratory system, interface to the circulatory system of air breathing vertebrae. What is this organ? Tooks. Lungs. Yes. And we go to question 12. By the way, did you ever guys notice that when you're at a, a concert or something, like where there's loud music, you feel it like in your chest you, when like the music is really pumping? I think maybe that has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Little That's just you know my music. That extremely loud music could kill you. Yeah, <laughs> we really move can, to question yes. 12. All right, moving on to question 12. It's about organizations. This organization gave the European Union and others the go ahead to impose sanctions on the US for its anti dumping rule. Under the Byrd Amendment, the U.S. fined companies that dumped goods and then gave the money collected to the companies who complained about the dumping. This is an organization promoting international trade. What is this organization? Tooks. IPAC. Sir Cien, five seconds. Sir Cien. Con, uh, NATO. We're looking for, uh, why don't we take a look at the hint, organization promoting international trade. Tooks. World Trade Organization. Yes. Mm. And we go to question 13. All right, already on question 13, it's about member. On September 1st of this year, hundreds of thousands of these people gathered in the holy city of Amritsar in northern India to commemorate the 400th year of their holy book. They are the members of this religious group that broke away from Hinduism during the 16th century. They advocate a monotheistic doctrine incorporating some aspects of Islam. Who are they? So they broke away from Hinduism, aspects of Islam. Let's take a look at the hint. Shoots. Shoots. And it's a very close game. Let's move on to question 14. All right, question number 14. It's about entertainment. Recently, actor James Duhan, famous for playing Scotty in this original show series, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is a science fiction television series. Sir Cien. Uh, star Trek. Yes. Did you have a favorite character? Spock. Oh. <laughs> These are kind of look like mine, so. <laughs> Not at all, actually. <laughs> and let's move on to our last question. All right, our last question, number 15, it's about music. Music. An English TV documentary claims that this composer suffered from the compulsive obsessive disorder, Tourette syndrome. An expert says that the clues are to be found in the letters written by this person, as well as in his music. This Austrian composer is widely recognized as one of the greatest composers in the history of Western music. Who is this? Austrian, great composer. Let's take a look at the hint. Sir Cien. Beethoven? No. Tooks, five seconds. Tooks. Weber? Why don't we take a look at the hint? Sir Cien. Mozart. Yes. Wolfgang Andreas. And with that, Sir Cien, you get to go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> great holiday. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and making this occasion more special. I, what do you want to say to your supporters at home? We did our best and uh, hi mom, hi dad. <laughs> hi mom, um, it was a nice time. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining us today. And Sir Cien, you're going to be going against our previous winners who are going to go for their third win in a row. Um, how are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous? Mm. Mm, well, it'll wear off, right?
We'll be right back after this with Line 6 and the Sears CN teams. you guys again Jason Cipperly and Gavin Jones this is your attempt at win number three in a row yeah and are you completely relaxed now trying trying yeah <laughs> <Not completely. laughs> all we right only just made it last time so mm. <laughs> well hopefully it'll be another fun and exciting game did you have that drink no, no, I didn't. <laughs> good. good. That's not good for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we'll begin our game. In our final section, we'll be giving you five categories of questions, five questions each. They are ranked in difficulty, 10 to 50 points. You don't have to choose them in order. You just have to get the first question correct to choose the next question. What are today's categories? All right. Today's categories are innovations, world story, what a way to go, named after, and film festivals. Mm -hmm. And I will choose Innovations, 10 points. In 1852, an American inventor devised the first mechanism that would prevent this device from crashing in case of an accident. In 1854, he tested this and its safety guard in New York City. He had the device raised to a considerable height and then had the cable cut. Line six. Elevator. Yes. And it was. He had the cable cut through and he descended without accident. And it was Elisha Graves Otis, the American inventor of the elevator. And line six, what would you like to have next? Innovations for 20. Innovations, 20 points. In the early 1700s, the French physicist René de Romeur discovered the concept of making paper from wood. His discovery came after watching this insect chewing wood, turning it to line six. Wasp? Yes. It is the slender black and yellow striped social swinging insect. Very good. And it has well-developed wings, big biting mouth parts, and antennae with 12 or 13 segments. Uh, this is a stinging member of the insect, except bees and ants. The idea was put into practical use in 1852 when the first wood grinding machine for pulverizing wood was employed in the production of the first newsprint. And how were you so familiar with paper making? I'm really not. I, I've got no idea how I knew that. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> good, very did. good. Well, regardless, you know, nature is man's best teacher. I think, I think many of man's greatest advances came from observing nature and learning from it. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. okay. And Sir CM, it's tough to go against a previous week's winner, but we encourage you to buzz in quickly and take a chance. And line six, you get to choose. Uh, 30 points, innovations. All right, innovations, 30 points. In the summer of 1902, a printer in Brooklyn, New York, was having trouble with color printing. The hot, humid weather was causing the paper on the presses to change size, enough to cause distortions on the printing. Then, this young engineer, in the process of solving the problem, found that air retained less moisture at lower temperatures. He designed a machine that blew air over chilled pipes and thus stabilized the amount of moisture. What or who is this? Who is the man who designed the machine that blew air over chilled pipes? Famous air conditioner making company takes his name. Sir Cien. Uh, Maytag. Line six, five seconds. <laughs> it is the carrier air conditioner and Willis Havilano Carrier is the man. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why don't we go with film festivals for 10 points? Okay. 
Hello, contenders. I'm Kim Ha Won from the International Promotion Department of the Korean Film Council, COFIC. The status of Korean films in the international stage has never been so high as in recent years. More and more Korean films are acknowledged in the world stage. As a person in charge of the related department, I'm proud of the remarkable achievement. Watching internationally renowned and critically acclaimed films, we sometimes get overwhelmed with our emotions as we experience it through the eyes of each character. It is a great experience. There may be several international film festivals currently being held in the cities all over the world. Let's find out how much you know about the international film festivals in general. The 57th edition of the Locarno International Film Festival honored and commemorated this person on August 7th. For this occasion, the festival chose the film, Kimara, to remind us of this tremendous actor who recently passed away. The movie was made in 1969 by Gillo Pontecorvo, who will be attending the festival in Locarno to celebrate this actor's extraordinary performance and discuss their work together on the memorably turbulent production. This screen legend, famous for his roles in On the Waterfront and the Doctor. Line six. Marlon Brando. Yes, also famous for the Godfather. And Marlon Brando died at the age of 80. And line six, you get to choose. Um, same category, 20 points, please. Film festivals, 20 points. It seems like only yesterday, but this international film festival in this city will be soon celebrating its ninth birthday. Launched in 1996 as the first international film festival ever in Korea. It has Line six. Busan Film Festival. That's okay. Busan International Film Festival. And it is currently established as a world-renowned international film festival, and it will be held from October 7th through the 15th on the theater streets of Nampudong and Heunde in Busan, which is the southern port city of Korea. And Line six, you get to choose Circean. Hang in there. You've <laughs> got to win the buzzing war, man. <laughs> Line six, you get to choose. Uh, let's continue with uh, film festivals for 30. Film festivals, 30 points. Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg would be among the big names at this year's star-studded Venice International Film Festival. The festival director, Marco Muller, announced that it will open with this latest collaboration between the two stars. The movie Circean. Uh, the terminal? Yes. It was about 16 years of a man's life who was, uh, who was trapped at the De Gaulle airport in Paris. Mm. Sir Cien, it's good to see you on the board. You've got 30 points versus line six's lead of 60 points. And Sir Cien, you get to choose. Uh, world story for 10. World story, 10 points. This belief has emphasis on an uncompromising monotheism and a strict adherence to certain essential religious practices. It was taught by Muhammad to a small group of followers. Islam? Yes, and in Islam, Allah is viewed as the sole God. And line six, you get to choose. Uh, let's go back to film festivals for 40. Film festivals, 40 points. The world's first major film festival was held in Venice in 1932. The other three major film festivals of the world, Cannes, Berlin, and Locarno, date back to the 1940s and 1950s. Taking a closer look on their Grand Prix, you will find out that Venice's main award is the Leon d'Oro, which means Golden Lion, and Locarno's is the Golden Leopard. Line six. Palm d'Or. Yes. The name of the prestigious award given out at Pan or the Golden Palm. We would have taken that as well. And Sir I encourage you, line six, to choose. Um, same category, finish, please, yeah. 50 points. Closing the category of film festivals with 50 points. Closing the curtain in August, the 58th Edinburgh International Film Festival chose Untold Scandal by Lee Jae-yong as its new closing night film for 2004. Untold Scandal replaced the previous closing night film, Wang Ga Wei's 2046, which finished editing in the beginning of September. The film, Untold Scandal, is a visually stunning remake of this. Faithful to Line six. Dangerous liaisons. Yes. The lot close. Uh, 
original lo novel and Stephen Freer's 1988 classic, Les Zones Dangereuses. And it was the 1988 film which starred Glenn Close, Malkovich, Pfeiffer, etc., etc. <laughs> and line six, you get to choose. Uh, let's go world story for 20. World story, 20 points. The Romans, especially, constructed elaborate systems that also drained wastewater. Circean. Aqueduct. Line six, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. That also drained wastewater from the public baths. However, these systems fell into disrepair during the Middle Ages. As the populations of cities grew, disastrous epidemics of cholera and typhoid fever broke out as the result of the ineffective segregation of this system and drinking water. The correlation between this and disease became apparent in the mid-19th century. What is this system? Line six, five, line six. The sewer. Sewer system, sewage system. The Indus Valley had the first sewage system in the world. It is the collection of pipes and mains, treatment works, and discharge lines for the wastewater of a community. And line six, you can uh, choose. We'll go world story for 30. World story, 30 points. This was characterized by mutual distrust, suspicion, and misunderstandings by both the U.S. and the Soviet Union and their allies. At times, these conditions increased the likelihood of a third world war. The United States accused the Soviet Union of seeking to expand their version of communism throughout the world. It is the open yet restricted rivalry that developed after World War II. CRCN. Cold War? Yes, between the U.S. and the Soviet Union and their allies. The struggle was called the Cold War because it didn't actually lead to fighting or a hot war on the wide scale. And CRCN, it's good to see you on the board. You get to choose. <laughs> uh, let's go with World Story 40 again. World Story, 40 points. All right, for 40 points. The prostitutes of ancient Rome were obligated by law to shed the female garment known as the stola in favor of the male equivalent called this. All Line six. Toga. T toga. <laughs> Sash went over the left shoulder and under the right arm. And uh, line six, you get to choose. Let's finish World Story for 50. Closing the category, World Story, 50 points. And our last question, number 50, um, for 50 points. Wanton cruelty in the treatment of slaves was forbidden by this, which is one of the most famous of ancient documents. This was promulgated in the king's name in Babylonia sometime between 21 and 188 BC. This document, however, stipulated that slaves were to be branded on their forehead and were forbidden to hide or mask the mark. What is this most complete and perfect? Line six. Hammurabi's code? Yes, it is the most complete and perfect extant collection developed during the reign of the first dynasty of Babylon. And Here's Cian. He just beat you to the buzzer. We knew you knew the answer. And line six, you get to choose. Innovations for 40. Innovations, 40 points. In 1605, Francis Bacon developed a biliteral bi cipher using only two letters, A and B, in five letter combinations. Each combination represented a letter of the alphabet. It illustrated the principle that only two signs are required to transmit information in code. Line six. Binary? Yes, it is the same principle that got the Leibniz developed into the binary system in the late 1600s. And the principle underlines the digital computer of today, where zero and one can be combined to express. And line six. Uh, to finished innovations, 50 points. Okay. Closing the category, 50 points. Innovations. In the early 1860s, a New York firm offered a prize of $10,000 for a satisfactory substitute for ivory in the manufacture of billiard balls. The prize was won by an American inventor, John Wesley Hyatt, who came up with a substitute, which was later named this. It is the first synthetic plastic material. This highly flammable material decomposes easily and is no longer used widely. CRCN. Fiberglass? Line six, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. In the late 1880s, this material was developed to be used as photographic film. 
What is this? Line six, five, six. Line six. Celluloid. Yes. The name Celluloid actually began as a trademark of the Celluloid Manufacturing Company, which manufactured the celluloids patented by John Wesley Hyatt. Okay. And the important hint came after you bust in. Mm. And line six, you get to choose. Na named after. Named after. Ten, ten points. points. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> named <laughs> after. Ten points. All right. This person's work ranks among the top contributions in the history of business. The, uh, this early 20th century industrialist developed a system of production that drastically lowered the cost of his products and helped to rush in the modern age of travel. He is... Line six. Henry Ford. He is the American industrialist who revolutionized factory production with his assembly line methods. And line six, your choice. Named after for 20. Named after for 20 points. This businessman was selling produce before buying his first refinery where he made his fortune. His firm, which would later come to symbolize large trusts, led to the Sherman Antitrust Act. Though he was a big businessman, he was also a generous donator. He established the General Education Board in 1902 and a foundation named after his name in 1913. Throughout his life, he gave away over $550 million to charities. Who is this American? Sir Cien. <laughs> Line six, five seconds. Line six. Rockefeller? Yes, it is J.D. Rockefeller. Synonymous with big business, is U.S. industrialist, philanthropist, and the founder of Standard Oil Company. Hmm, and Circean. Just didn't jog your memory. And line six, your choice. Uh, named after for 30. Named after, 30 points. This company's founder made his fortune in the timber industry and later succeeded in the aviation business. Under his guidance, a tiny airplane manufacturing company grew into a huge corporation of related Sir industries. Cien. Boeing? Yes, it is the Boeing Company, an American company that was the world's largest manufacturer of commercial aircraft in the second half of the 20th century. The company was founded by William E. Boeing. He lived until 1956 long enough to see the company he started enter the jet age, and he sold his interest when the government wanted uh, to actually separate <coughs> parts of his company. And Sir Cien, it's good to see you on the board. You get to choose. Uh, named after 40? Named after 40 points. This chocolatier had only a fourth grade education before becoming a printer's apprentice. Dear Cien. Hershey? Yes. He was a printer, printer's apprentice first, but uh, he established the Lancaster Caramel Company in 1886. Eight years later, he started the chocolate company. Uh, and Hershey's Kisses were first produced in 1907. Yummy. Love them. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, and you get to choose. Named after 50. Closing the category, named after 50 points. In 1914, a semi-pro baseball player turned financier formed a partnership with a soda fountain equipment businessman and started an event. CRCN. Coca-Cola. Line six, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Investment bank. After establishing the partnership, they changed the company name to this. In 1941, this company was the first firm to publish an annual report. It is an American financial services holding company whose principal subsidiary is the largest retail brokerage house in the U.S. What is this? Line six, five seconds. Hmm. This is the name that we recognize as an investment bank. Um, Real estate, financial services holding company, CRCN. Prudential? Mm. Line six, five seconds. Let's think. Line six. Merrill Lynch. Yes. Merrill Lynch and Company. The names of the founders are Charles E. Merrill and Edward C. Lynch. So, and line six, you get to choose. Uh, what a way to go for 10. What a way to go for 10 points. Thugs originally were religious mystics of this country, banded together in a secret society and devoted to the sinister goddess Kali. They performed countless ritual murders by twisting a rope around a victim's neck in this country. Line six. India? Yes. 
Kali is the destructive and creative mother goddess of Hinduism, and 83% of the people in India are Hindus. Uh, thuggy, or tuggy, from the Sanskrit root sthag, or pali thak, means to conceal, and the word is mainly applied to fraudulent or concealment. Fraudulence or concealment. And so, what would you like to have next? Uh, 20 points. All right, what a way to go, 20 points. Just before this person was assassinated in Petrograd in 1916, his assassins first fed him cakes and wine laced with enough cyanide to kill several people. Line six. Oh, Rasputin. Sorry. Yes. Oh. <laughs> What's really interesting is that not only did they feed him cyanide, they also shot him through the chest and clubbed him on the head with a lead-filled walking stick. And then they threw his body into the Neva River. But then when they you know, checked his body afterwards, they realized he died of drowning. Interesting. By after the way, all I, of that? yeah, after all that, <laughs> I have a, 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 actually a theory as to why it took so long for this man to pass. And it's not anything uh, like, you know, supernatural, but I, he was actually a really big man. Mm -hmm. He was tall and big, mm -hmm. so perhaps, you know, the sign, although they said several people, maybe they just mil miscalculated, and you know, that's why. But he was a really big man, and uh, he actually was raised from a very peasant family, and then he became who he became with the talents that he had. And then he died. And then he died. Mm. Very tragic death. Yes. But if you're going to go out, you better go out kicking like he did. And yeah. so we have him <laughs> in our category called What a Way to Go. Yes. <laughs> and we've got three left. Which would you like? 30. 50 points. <laughs> All right, what a way to go, 30 points. The most ancient report of this is in Chinese records. According to the legend, this phenomenon came without any warning because the royal astronomers Si and Ho were too drunk to make the necessary calculations. They were executed, becoming the only astronomers known to have been killed for dereliction of duty. The phenomenon occurs when the sun Moon and Earth. Circean. Uh, eclipse. The lunar eclipse. Line six, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish. Line six. The solar eclipse? Yes, it's the solar eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, moon, and the Earth are on a single line with a moon in the middle. And seen from the Earth, the moon is in front of the sun, and thus part or all of the light of the sun is eclipsed by the moon. Thus, it may seem that a piece has been taken out of the sun or that it has suddenly disappeared when it's just been covered. Did you say thank you? I said sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've got two 50, left. 50. Which, which would you like to have? 40. All right. What a way to go. 40 points. As a young man, this person opposed the death penalty. He gave up the opportunity for a brilliant legal career because he had problems serving in a court that sentenced condemned people to the scaffold. But on ga upon gaining control of the French Revolution in 1793, he launched the Reign of Terror. That sent Circien. Mm, Robespierre? Yes, it is Maximilien Robespierre. And he sent people to the guillotine before he himself yeah. died beneath the blade. He is one of the best known leaders of the French Revolution. And, hmm, tragic. We have just one left on the board. What a way to go. 50 points. This Greek city-state suffered for four years under the Spartan oppression. The Spartan dictatorship ended when a small party of citizens dressed as women joined a drinking party that the Spartan commanders were giving. The men in disguise threw their knives and slaughtered their hosts. It was one of the main causes that forced Sparta to give up this territory in and around 379 BC. It is an ancient Greek city situated in the north of the Ceteron range. What is this city? Line six. Salonika. Sir Cien, five seconds. Sir Cien. Crete. It is the location currently of the citadel, uh, ancient citadel, the Cadmia, and is occupied by the town of Tai Vai. Starts with T. Gives it away. 
Sucian. Thessalonia? <laughs> Line six, five seconds. Line six. Hey, Thebes? Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Line six, congratulations, you've won three in a row. Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. This being a special Chuseok weekend, we thank you for taking the time to join us here on our stage. CRCN, I know you have supporters. What do you want to say? Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> was it good? It was, it, was, it was fun. Thank you so much for joining us. In line six, now you've got three wins. So how yeah. do you feel? Very uh, good. Very good. Very good right now, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Much better than earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, and do you have a special message for your supporters who are watching you on Chuseok or during the Chuseok um, holiday? Well, I just want to say thank you to everybody at my school who's um, letting me be here today and um, just say hi to some friends. Hi, Jun Suk. Okay. And okay. that's it. Okay. Just hi to my friends. That's All right. <laughs> Congratulations again. Yep. Well, we have a three-time winner, the Line 16. They will be joining us again next week. Happy Chuseok, everyone. Bye-bye.